In this video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of living in Miami, Florida. If you wanna know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living in Miami, Florida, then make sure to subscribe below so you can keep in touch with all our new videos. So let's start with some pros of living in Miami, Florida. Number one, of course, probably one of the most popular are the beaches. In Miami, we are surrounded by water and there are absolutely beaches everywhere from all the way south uh, beach all the way up to North Miami, Sunny Isles area. So beaches, there's a surplus of them. Uh, that's one of the main reasons people love to live here. The beach is amazing, it's calming, it's relaxing, and uh, it's always good to get some sun. So beaches, definitely the number one pro. Let's talk about now the weather. The weather in Miami, sunny, all year round. That's one another big factor why people love to live here. Uh, yes, during the summer, you can expect some really hot temperatures. You're looking about 90 degrees. But as you live here in Miami and you start to enjoy it, you'll start to realize that you just get used to the hot weather, you get used to sweating, and then you just wear less clothes. Tank top, light shirt, linen stuff, it's all great. Uh, I would say that the weather here, once we get into the winter months, once we get into October, November, December, absolutely great, great weather. You're looking about mid 70s, sometimes it comes down to even the 50s. 55, we have a couple weeks there where we get some nice cool weather so we can bring out our coats that we have in our closets all year round. And overall, the weather in Miami is always great. Sometimes during the summer though, you will get those large amounts of rain uh, out of nowhere. And then the other half of the day will be all sunny. And um, it's a little bit of a bipolar weather during the summer, but overall, great, great weather in Miami. Another great benefit of Miami is the no state income tax. That's right. If you're like in California, some other states where you have state income tax in the double digits, it's a great savings down here. Uh, don't foresee there being any state income tax in the future. It's one of the big pros as to uh, why a lot of people come down to live here. More affordability. Uh, it's an excellent perk to have. Another pro, if you're into sports, here we have all the major sports teams, NBA, NFL, uh, NHL hockey, soccer, Formula One now for the next 10 years. We have baseball and we also have tennis, the Miami Open as well. So all year round, there's sports throughout the entire year that you can go enjoy with your family. If you're a big avid sports fan, you can go out there, have your fun with your friends, family, and it's just amazing having all those sports teams out here because I love sports. And uh, one in particular that I like to play myself is tennis. So having that here as well all year round and golfing is absolutely incredible. Let's talk about the people and the rich diversity that Miami has to offer. There are people from all over the world here. It's a huge melting pot and that makes it extremely vibrant and just a beautiful place to live where you have all different types of cultures and ways of life. And, and that's, I mean, a huge thing that I really love and appreciate about um, the city is being able to learn from different people and having friends from different places. It's absolutely amazing. And the people are very healthy here. Uh, they're friendly. And ultimately, I've never had an issue with people here in Miami. People are extremely nice. And uh, that's a big, big reason why I myself love to live here. Let's talk about the major airport, the Miami International Airport. Amazing for those who travel a lot, who travel for work, who love to vacation and go to different places in the world. You can get a ticket to probably any place in the world from the Miami International Airport. Um, so that's a very, very good benefit of living nearby. Anywhere you live in Miami, you're at max 30 minutes away from the airport. More people are usually around 10 to 25 minutes away from the airport, which is great, which makes it convenient. Um, and it's always good to be uh, located somewhere where you can travel to other places easily. One of the best things about Miami has to be the nightlife and entertainment. I mean, there are a surplus of things to do, especially at night in Miami, from concerts, at the FTX Arena, like I mentioned before, the Miami Heat Games, sports. There's also the Adrian Arch Center in Midtown Miami that is amazing for concerts, theater, um, and a whole bunch of other shows and plays. It's just, there's literally every single night, every single weekend, there's some type of event going on from dancing. You can go to local breweries. You can go out drinking at a bunch of bars, dancing, uh, all types of music, 
rock, electric, uh, salsa, tango, you name it. Every single weekend there's something to do in Miami and I love that because I'm a person who loves to be active and to go out and do things and experience life. And Miami is one of those places that allows you to do anything at any time and that's why I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a huge foodie and I know, oh, there's our pool guy, Elmer. He also loves the food down here. And that's one of the most amazing aspects of Miami too, is the food. I mean, we have amazing restaurants anywhere that you go from high budget to low budget. You can find something that is absolutely delicious and it's a reflection of our diversity. You can find food from anywhere in the world here. I actually challenge you to pick any type of food and you'll find it here in Miami. Uh, no matter what you're craving. And uh, that is just, I mean, another aspect, let me actually mention before I forget, we have Michelin star rated restaurants now, 11 of them. So if you're looking for that amazing, top quality uh, dining experience, of course, in Miami, you will find it. Uh, but any type of cuisine, anything you can think of, you will find it here and it's, it's absolutely delicious. Another pro of living in Miami, Florida is definitely the outdoor activities. On any given day, you could pretty much do any outdoor activity you can think of. Um, one beautiful thing that I love here is the sports uh, for children. Uh, growing up here, I always played a lot of sports and that's great if you're looking to grow a family, you can put your kids in sports all year round and keep them you know, healthy and active. Uh, we have biking trails, we have boating, we have paddle boarding, we have windsurfing. Uh, tennis, golf, all year round. And that's absolutely amazing. Uh, and it's a really, really special part about this city. For example, this weekend, I'm gonna be going to a mango festival. I love mangoes and there's a really cool mango festival going on. And you'll see that there's loads of music festivals, art festivals, basically every week there's something something to do. And, and that's really makes living here really, really fun and enjoyable. You get to live life on your terms. Um, live life to the fullest, and no matter what you're into, you can always find it down here uh, in Miami. So that's another spe really, really special thing about, about the city. One very important topic about what's great about Miami is the job opportunities and basically the job market as a whole. Uh, here um, in Miami, the unemployment rate is at 2.5%, which is 1.1% lower than the national average. So here we have a very strong employment uh, great companies that have been coming down like tech companies and also hedge funds that have been coming down from big cities like New York and Chicago. Um, the mayor is doing a lot, a lot of really great things um, in order to bring more companies down here um, and increase the economics in, in, our, in our city. Uh, you'll see in Brickell, Miami, a great, great city, uh, a lot of finance. It's the financial district of Miami. You see loads of companies coming there. Um, and creates a great opportunity for also other industries as a whole. Um, any industry that you work in, even if you're doing Uber and driving for Uber or for DoorDash and doing deliveries, there's a huge surplus of opportunities here uh, to be able to work and to be able to live a good life uh, here in Miami. And that's extremely, extremely important. And of course, something that everyone thinks about when, when they come to relocate here in Miami. All right, so let's go over some cons of Miami. Um, number one, we definitely have to start off with the transportation. The transportation system in Miami is not great. Uh, the majority of people here have their own cars. Families probably either have around two to three cars. And um, basically to, to do a lot of the things here in Miami and South Florida, you really need a car. Um, a lot of people don't really like to rely on the metro rail or the bus system. We don't have any subways or any underground transportation. So just be aware that you will ha need a car here uh, when relocating to Miami. Uh, another con would be the traffic. Since everybody has cars here in Miami, you are gonna find times of heavy traffic. Like any major city, I would say, I've traveled to different states across the United States and at the peak hours of traffic, it's pretty much the same that you'll see down here uh, in Miami. Anytime after 3 p.m. Uh, to about, I would say 6.30, 7, you have your heavier traffic. After then it cools down and it's very easy going. Um, in the mornings, the traffic probably starts around like 7.30 um, and it lasts up until about 10 a.m. and you're pretty much good And if you're driving uh, anywhere between those hours. Uh, so I wouldn't put too much concern on the traffic here. At the end of the day, if you're in your car, you're relaxing, you can play some music, put on a podcast to let time go by. 
um, and you'll be all right. Um, tra I've lived here my entire life. Traffic has never been like this crazy headache that I get, you know, super upset with uh, when I'm in, but for the most part, you'll be all right with traffic here in Miami. So one major concern that people have that we are very well known for in Miami are the hurricanes. And I'm not talking about the Miami Hurricanes football team. I'm talking about those crazy storms that you've seen on TV. Now, I want to say that in Miami, there hasn't been a very, very large destructive hurricane since 1992 Hurricane Andrew. And just know that the homes here and the, in the basically the infrastructure as a whole here in Miami is built to withstand hurricanes. So you'll be safe no matter what, as long as you take the proper precautions, um, you'll be, you know, you'll have no problem. The majority of what we get here are actually tropical storms. So every now and then when we start hitting those summer months and, you know, it gets more humid and, and the weather starts to, to increase and get hotter, we will see some, uh, you know, storms, rain, heavy rain. And that's very, very normal here. At least for me, it's very soothing, very relaxing to have some days of just pure rain. Um, I always enjoy it. You just stay in and relax. Uh, but I wouldn't put too much uh, emphasis on hurricanes here. Um, everyone's always very safe. And you, I'm sure you've seen the memes about Florida people when hurricanes pass by. We're just relaxing, no stress whatsoever. So this last con, which many people may not really think about, but I just wanted to mention is the flat landscape. Since Miami is basically at sea level, you're not going to see these crazy mountains or cliffs. Um, but some pros of that is that, you know, it's easy to park. You don't have to park on an incline. It's very easy to get the place to place. Everything's just flat, smooth sailing. Um, but yeah, that's just one reason. If you want to go, what, what a lot of us Floridians and, and South Florida, uh, Miami people do, we just take a trip to somewhere that has some, some cliffs and some mountains and it's all good from there. There you have it. Those are the pros and cons of living in Miami, Florida. As you'll see, the pros outweigh the cons by a lot. Uh, Miami really is a truly magical city. That's why they call it the magic city. Um, there's so much here to do. There's so much life to live here and uh, I absolutely love it. And I can honestly never see myself moving from here, uh, even though I've lived here my entire life. So there you have it. If you found value from this video and you, and you really enjoyed it, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be coming out with a lot more videos so you can really understand what it is to relocate, to live in Miami and what it feels to be a Miamian. Take care.